Because, because just like we were talking about, this wisdom in which we have, it doesn't come from this earth, man. It comes from your high base, your man was shot down to, through the apostles. Right. You know what I mean? So, so like, they're, they, hey, they're astonished when they see the men of the Lord out on right. the highways and byways. When they labor so intensively right. to keep this hid. Right. Yep. You know? Yeah. So that's what that, that's the point of Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Catholicism's purpose is to take the spirituality out of this book. God. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set up Abba Bivens back in the day to you know keep this thing going right. through the apostles and with well, their their teachers and elders and now them. And now us, <laughs> we like the cream and wheat man. Yeah, we, we just talked uh, about the pimps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh? Uh, made me lose my train of thought, man. But, but, right, he set us up to bring the spirituality back to this book. Right. The knowledge and understanding back into this. Right. So that Jake can be fed. God. So you look at the two thirds, and we spoke on this earlier, man. Yeah. They're zapped. They yeah, are yeah. empty inside, man. Yeah. They have no spirituality. They have no knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right. So the Heavenly Father sent forth his service to prophets to bring you the understanding of this book. Right. When you think this is just something that King James, uh, a faggot that King named King James wrote, we ought to get you to understand now, man. King James was a man of the Lord who had this book translated because we were getting ready to come in slavery. Con. And we going to need it. We was going to need this written in English. Yep, con. Yeah. So not to sidetrack, but that's how the spirit work, man. When we come out here and teach, man, this thing dovetails, man. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can't you, you can't force the course of the river. Yeah, man. We, we, there, there's a scripture that says that the, 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 the spirit searches all things. Yeah, yeah, even the deep and hidden things, man. That's right. So 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 yeah, I mean, hey, you can try to you can try to put this candle underneath the bushel, bro. Guess what? Hey, we're gonna find it anyway. You know what I mean? Cause it was meant. For the elect. I mean, it's almost like 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 a spiritual magnet. You know what I mean? Like they're they're two. They're like like they're both calling each other. Wisdom is calling out for the elect, and the elect are calling out for wisdom. You know? That scripture you brought out earlier. It said, when the Most High was ready, he gave us light. Remember? Right, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. It can't, ain't no force on earth can stop that. No, because 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 really it's a part of us. You know what I mean? Like 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 he, yeah, even yeah. He, he, even though That's right. even though I mean that breath going into that breath. I know we kind of you know like you said dovetail a little bit, but even that breath was a part of that wisdom, man. To to understand who these heathen are and what and what kind of judgment they're gonna face because we are essentially judges as well. You know. So, so this spirit, this knowledge of the law, statutes, and commandments was given up to us to rule in righteousness, you know? And right now, as I said earlier, essentially all of this is, is a global training day. You know, you go back to the movie Training Day or whatever, man. You know, everything we're doing now is rehearsing the righteous acts to where we can implement them in this upcoming day of judgment. You know, whether whether it be overcoming martial law, whether it be having more faith in your Habai Shemel Shah, the brother talked about, if you placed in the guillotine, you know what I'm saying, understanding what kind of thought process spiritually you need to be in. Right. But but for right now, we don't get back on these either. Oh, unless you had something else. Yeah, yeah, come on, brother. This is uh Psalm 73, verse 11. Right. And they say, how does Yahweh know? Because <laughs> them at least know that Yahweh is the name. <laughs> yeah. While you got Hebrew Israelites, men calling themselves Man. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. You don't know what the name is. That's crazy. You're not going to know till we get in the kingdom like a fucking dumbass. That's man. crazy, man. Yeah, while you out here bullshitting, the elites, they know. Mm. Like I said, that's why they labor so intensively to keep this from you. Right. But anyway, the scriptures say, and they say, how does Yahweh know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? <laughs> Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. Right. They increase in riches. Yeah, so we were talking about, you know, I had referenced Lazarus and the rich man. 
We talked about how uh, the so-called white man gains riches. He sits in these high places, right? When ultimately, and, and I'm gonna bring that out since, since it came back up real quick. Scripture says, man, and I'll read it real quick. This is Luke chapter six, verse 24. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye yeah. have received your consolation. That's right. So, so yeah, man, we had talked about it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, hey, hey, scripture says what? Riches will not profit them in that day, you know? Neither that gold or that silver, yeah. you know? So, so yeah, man, having these riches of this world, man, hey, none of that's gonna save you in this upcoming day of judgment, man, you know? Only knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai will give you the opportunity at salvation, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That James, huh? James, chapter 5, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Go to now, ye rich men. Right. We and how. Right. For your misery shall come, uh, yeah, for your miseries, that shall come upon you. That's right. Your riches are corrupted, mm. and your garments moth eat. Right. Your gold and silver is cankered. It's cankered. And the rest of them shall be a witness against you. <laughs> Imagine, man. Like, y'all buy should be able to shine. I mean, first of all, you don't even have gold or silver. So so now what? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like it'd be different if you got, well, I mean, maybe the elites, you know, but they got it stashed off somewhere or whatever, right? Yeah. Everybody should be able to show has the power to turn all that into dust. You know? Like, hey, that, yeah, it's gonna be beautiful in that day, man. Scripture says, man, you're gonna, you're gonna see a marvelous work, man. You know? Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what your how about should be able to show is really all about. You know? Cause, hey, cause clearly we not the rich ones here in this society. Okay? E even these top quote unquote elites, you know, basketball players, politicians, whatever, they still on a low level compared to the Rothschilds, you know, compared to the uh, uh, the Gettys, those 13 uh, 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 quote unquote Illuminati blood family lines, you know. So, so yeah, man, hey, riches aren't gonna profit you shit, man. Yeah, they go, oh, yeah. they go, they go, and neither are these quote unquote garments, whatever you call for protection, it's gonna be mock eating, you know? And your goal is gonna be cankered, man, you know? It's gonna be all rusted up. This whole lifestyle that you thought you was gonna live forever, man, is gonna come to a screeching halt, you know? As scripture says, man, your mighty, mighty men are gonna be as women, you know? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a fun time. Well, not really, but you know what I mean? Like, like just seeing the return of your house by your man was shot, man. Hey, that's gonna be part of our joy. Look at this shirt. That's Babylon. It says pool of sin. sin. Yeah, man, that's exactly. Yeah. You know? What, yeah. Man, that's no. why you devils got damn gold is cankered. Because they are riches gotten by deceit. Right. And then once you get them, you hoard them up. Yep. And you don't let it be used for the good of mankind. Nope. See, that's why, man, our kingdom going to be one of the reasons why our kingdom going to be so great. Because gold is, is going to be, it ain't even going to be precious. Exactly. Because it's going to be every. No, we right. Gonna have some, we gonna, we going to understand, we going to know how to make gold. Because all gold is is different elements combined, you know, that come out of, it's a rock that come right. out of the earth. Exactly. Like Yahshua has been going into the stones. Yep. Gold is just a stone that come out of the earth. That's it, man. If you don't have a trained eye, you won't even know what it is. It's oh, in right. natural state. Yeah, right, exactly. You know? Right, because it has to be uh, refined. Be clean and exactly. <laughs> Got to be refined. <laughs> it's fierce, but, yeah. you know? What, oh, uh, is that it? Got some, oh, okay. I didn't finish. The okay, cut, cut, cut. James chapter 5, verse 3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. Right. And shall eat your flesh mm. as it were fire, Ooh. and have heaped treasure ye 
have heaped treasure together for, for the, the last, last days. days. That's right, for the last days, man. Cause this is it, man. Yeah, yeah hey, this is it, man. E everything in which the so-called white man has built, excuse me, stolen, okay, robbed, lied, deceived, okay? Yeah, cause we built this. Right. Hey, everything in which the so-called white man has corrupted, okay? Now it's going to start to corrupt on him. It's going to implode, you know? It, his economic system's already imploding, which is part of the reason why he, he's trying to go to the, the RFID microchip, or has gone to the RFID microchip, you know? And, and, and just as we had talked about earlier with Rome, hey, all of these are the same symptoms in which befell Rome. You know, uh, infrastructure falling out, you know, pe pe uh, uh, people hoarding uh, uh, riches, you know, the money system failing, the defense started to uh, to weaken, you know. Military spread then. Right. You know, they was giving women positions of power, you know. Gun. Yeah, so. Uh, sexual immorality. Oh, hell yeah. Pedophilia, yeah. homosexual, homosexuality started jumping off. Yeah, all type of diseases and plagues. So yeah, man, hey. Hey, this is the last days, bro. That's right. This is the last days for Edomite. It's, hey, really, it's the last days for wickedness. Okay, let's just, just put that in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it like this, for, for wickedness just being allowed to thrive. Right. You know, we're going to get things in order. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. did we get to the point on Psalm 73? Then I saw that end. Okay, okay, I'll keep reading. Oh, yeah, this is Psalm 73, verse 13. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. Mm -hmm. For all the day long have I been played and chastened every morning. Right. If I, if I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. Yep. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right. then understood I their end. So, so yeah, that goes perfectly what we just read in James what, 5 and 6. Okay, well, what was that last verse that says uh, the, uh, the end of days? Oh, it says, uh, yeah, for the last day. For the last they day. They have heaped treasure together for the last day. What verse day. was that? Three, Three, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so they have heaped treasure together <laughs> for the last days. We read James, then we read in Psalms where it says, "Then I understood their end." Okay, that's beautiful through the spirit, the, uh, the spirit of the scriptures, man. The end of Babylon is before us, man. Scripture says, "Better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it," man. That's right. You know. So yeah, man. Hey, all what you see before you is about to be crumbling down, man. We, we read in Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, how Yahweh by Shemiel Shah is going to bring this place to a desolation, man. You know? So, so yeah, man, hey, listen. Hey, hey, do what you must here in this society, okay? And I'm talking about you Edomites, you yeah, so-called white worst, people. Fucking bastards. Because this is the last song. You know how they got last call? They got last call for alcohol. Hey man, this is the last call for you eater bikes, man. Last call. That's it, man. When they, when you, you know, you be at the uh, party back in the day, house party, or whatever. Right. The DJ tell you, you know, this that they play that last love song. Yeah, that's it. You gotta get your mask right. on. For that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because, because really, because really, everything in which you all have done. Hey, and like the scriptures that said, are coming to an end, you know? Uh, yeah. That's all I had there. Okay, I'll read that again. This is, uh, uh, Psalm 73, verse 16. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that sanctuary, it's just like when you read Psalms 91. That's the safe place, this truth. 
You know, yeah. so Ken Nate was saying, then I, I went into the truth. I learned and understood that truth. It says, uh, yeah, then understood I therein. Why? Because he was given the truth. He yeah. went into the sanctuary of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We, to we know the truth. We, which was that wisdom, man. The same wisdom in which Solomon dreamed about. You know? Oh. He's like, hey, look, man, I need, I need to find out what to do. You know? And really, that's the same that's wisdom. Right. That's the same wisdom uh, as Scripture talks about in Isaiah 33 and 6, man. That same wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. And yeah. strength of salvation, man. Get that. You know? That's right. So, so yeah, man, like, hey, we don't care about how much money the so-called white man has, man. He don't have true riches, yeah. you know? He broke spiritually. He dehydrated, you know? That's why, you know, we just read it. His silver and gold is canker. Man. Right. Yep. So, so in essence, it's, it's not going to profit him. Yep. That don't mean the, the gold literally is going to start rusting right. and cankering. Right. I mean, what good is it, man? Just yep. like uh, the scriptures say, well, what, what good is it for a man to gain the whole world yet lose his soul? Exactly. So that, them, that silver and gold that he's heaped up yep. and hoarded, it's not going to profit him a goddamn thing. Nope. We taking that, man. That's right. You know, the elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, we going to take that and put it to use for the good of mankind Con. and to restore the earth. Con. Yeah. You but, know, what they, they got it in the goddamn ball, ball, man. That was just about It's not doing no good, not even to them. Right. Yeah. When they can make all kind of water purification units, yep. Uh, yep. air purification yeah. using that gold, yeah. you know, to yeah. better mankind. Of course. There's a lot you can do with gold. That's why it's valuable. It ain't valuable because it's goddamn shiny. Right. I don't know if it I think it was you that said that um, that if you put the gold in the actual pipes, it will actually purify and cleanse the water. Was that you? I might have said Yeah, that. okay. Well, yeah, I mean, they but said, like, yeah. essentially, man, everything that is so-called, I mean, because uh, uh, um, gold in itself is, is uh, 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 an alkaline metal. Yeah, okay? yeah, that's right. So, so the point being here is, I mean, it, gold, silver, you know what I mean? Like, like all of those things help to balance out your your uh, your balance with the earth. You know what I mean? We are gonna show you devils, man, how to what to do with this earth. See, yeah, the heavenly man. Father gave y'all rulership. Y'all don't know what to do with this earth, man, except for be the devil and hoard up for yourself like greedy fucking rats. Exactly. The rat bastards that you that's motherfuckers right. are, man. That's but we're right. going to show you what to do with the world. Man, that's deep. Man, wait, wait, watch when we get this earth, man. Watch how lush and beautiful it's going to be, man. Right, yeah. Watch how everybody's going to be happy. That's why the scriptures say, the you know, the people rejoice I guess when the righteous are in authority. That's thanks you. You know, but when the wicked bad rule, the people mourn. That's right. Because you only think about your goddamn self, man. Y'all self-centered narcissists. Right. Yeah, go ahead, and, brother. Well, no, oh, 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 well, I mean, essentially, man, and, and they have no reason to be narcissists, man. You all are the scum of the earth. Like, that's the, that's what's so crazy, man. Script, scripture say, why is earth and ashes proud, man? Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like you have no reason to be proud. you proud about man you know you're gonna be all and down like i've always said man like yeah. like like what's the point of this society huh no right <laughs> nobody knows like all right well let's just get old and just fucking die like yeah what a life man yeah. oh man hey man you're supposed to have long enjoyable life lifespan yeah. right you know but here in this society man hey a maximum age of, of a man is like 30 you know at 30, his, his whole lifestyle is breaking down, you know? Women supposed to be have uh, the ability to have children. How old was Sarah when she had a child, like 90 or 90. something? When, hey, now, yeah. I, yeah, I was talking to my daughter a while back. She was like, well, yeah, you know, such and such said, you know, at a certain age, women can't have children anymore. I was like, shit, since when? But all of that's a part of this deaf society. That's right. You know? Because you, you women are so toxic, man. You're so polluted. 
Yeah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, they must have went and changed because oh, when was I was coming up here, oh, you saw them? Oh, uh, I don't know. Them same oh, they, oh, they were taking pictures down there? With the camera. Yeah, yeah, 